Well, the lighter side of our year in review has to include a look back at the art scene in our state in the past 12 months. Who better to tell us about that than Gallery of America host Robert Reed. Oklahoma's art world greeted 2020 with budding expectation for new exhibits, sculptures, festivals, but COVID-19 came along and shut a lot of it down, but not everything. And if there's anything Oklahoma art can be remembered for in 2020 is showing how creativity can thrive no matter what the obstacles. For starters, Tulsa-based poet Joy Harjo became the rare third-time appointee as U.S. Poet Laureate, and Shawnee-based singer-songwriter Samantha Crane released a new album, which NPR put on its best of the year list. And then there's that guy, Joe Exotic. In April, the world went abuzz for the Netflix series Tiger King, featuring a rather infamous Oklahoma, and over 64 million people watched that in its first month. But thankfully, another Oklahoman went viral that month too. Uh, I consider myself a jack of all trades, master of none. Tim Tiller, aka hashtag Tim the Cowboy, is the head of security at the Oklahoma City's National Cowboy Museum. And when the quarantine closed the museum, they asked him to take over social media. And he quickly became a national sensation. But it is, for me, it's very strange walking around seeing cutouts of me and, and people approaching me, you know, wanting to talk to me and ask me a question, nothing I ever expected. But it's nice, you know, if we can make them happy, uh, I'm happy. Since March, the museum's Twitter account jumped from 9,800 followers to nearly 300,000. That's about a million percent increase in social engagement. Pretty sure that makes Seth from marketing happy. Now, quarantine life has prompted Oklahoma's art scene to lean on its creative roots too. Oklahoma City's Flaming Lips performed a COVID-friendly space bubble show in Oklahoma City in October with more bubble shows planned for 2021. Tulsa Choral showcased Beethoven and the Beatles at an event at Tulsa's Admiral Twin Drive-In Theater. And one of the best additions all year to the Oklahoma art scene is the Oklahoma Contemporary in Oklahoma City. Now, due to COVID, they had to delay their grand opening in March, but they found new ways to engage the community, including a star-studded reading of the Odyssey by Homer. Who are you? Why ask me this? Dear God! New Oklahoma art for the future appeared this year as well. In early March, Fire and Little Africa assembled with dozens of hip-hop artists going to Tulsa to record an album and create a documentary to commemorate the centennial next year of the Tulsa Race Massacre. 2020 was the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which first gave women the right to vote in this country. And Oklahoma City artist, Maryland artist, did something big. She created a 36-stripe flag, one for each state that ratified it, called her flag to commemorate this event. Why can't a gal from Oklahoma have the largest project to celebrate the 100th anniversary? In July, Enid cut the ribbon on a new public sculpture made by hometown artist Romy Owens. It's a, it's a winding pavilion that has 13 independent towers. And back in March, Tonkawa hosted the inaugural Tonkawa Film Festival. This isn't Sundance. We're not at a ski resort, so we need to create a very unique experience for people that are coming. James is an actor, director based in New York, but originally from Tonkawa. And for him, being unique meant that the Tonkawa had to have a parade. We kind of leaned into the stereotype a little bit. My dad went and got a bunch of old cowboy hats that they could wear in the parade. And yeah, everybody just had a great time. They just loved it. Thank you for watching a bit of what made 2020 a special year in Oklahoma art. And as always, follow us on Instagram at OETA Gallery for more features like this. Have a very happy new year. And until next time, remember, stay arty, Oklahoma.